Hello and welcome. In this tutorial I want to show you how you can select a single surface. I start off by selecting a brush. Then I get it into my view and I press spacebar to copy it. I change the size to 48 to 48 to 48 just like a little nice box. In the menu I click on Textures and select Cling on Textures. Pressing T will bring up the Textures window where I select a Cling on Texture for my box. Now this texture will be applied to all surfaces. I can click on Fit to make the texture fit on all surfaces. Pressing Escape will deselect it. To select a single surface, press and hold Ctrl Shift and select with the left mouse button the surface of a brush. You can then select a texture for each surface individually. If you want to texture all the sides of a brush except one, you can do exactly the opposite. Select the entire brush and select one single surface, which will deselect just this surface. I pressed Escape to deselect the object. I will press H so I can hide the floor to better access this box from the bottom. This box has a texture on the bottom, which is not visible to the player, but yet still shown in-game. There are more surfaces which are not visible to the player, but still in the game. But we don't worry about these, because they are outside the map. Instead, we will focus on the surface at the bottom of the box, because this could be performance relevant. In the menu, click on Selection. Make Detail. Detailed brushes will show green instead of red inside the editor when they are selected. Pressing spacebar to make a copy of the selected object. I pressed Escape to deselect the object. Then I select the brushes so I can group them together. Pressing N will toggle the NTT window. Left clicking once a random entry in the list and then typing detail into the keyboard will jump to the detail entity. Pressing Ctrl, Shift and E will select the entire group. In the 2D view the color has changed from green to purple. Pressing Ctrl, Shift and E will select the entire group. You can move the entire group by left clicking on a selected object of the group and moving the mouse. In a similar manner you can manipulate the entire group. I hope this helps you. See ya!